Transition to our next story. Kevin Feige teases that you never say never about reviving the Marvel Netflix shows characters. So you're talking Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, uh, Iron Fist. Uh, am I missing anyone there? Um, Punisher, John Burns, yeah. Punisher. So yeah. with that kind of, and this is kind of a, a combo one and two punch. And this is, a, a, I think it's a rumor, but it's kind of been confirmed that Charlie Cox, who plays uh, Daredevil yeah. in the Netflix show, was on the set and actually wrapped filming of his scene. So kind of a all in one compass, compass question, shooting it to you first, James. Do you want to see the in first? I guess have you seen a lot of the majority of the Netflix shows? And if so, would you want to see those characters make their way into the MCU? And then also tying into this Charlie uh Cox on you know Spider-Man 3. He's a lawyer. We know Peter Parker has some uh issues going on right now being a, a murderer. Uh, but what's your thoughts on that, man? So I've seen about half of the Netflix shows. I I stopped watching Luke Cage in season two because I felt like they toned down the essence of his character from season one, which was yeah. someone who was challenging with uh, whether or not he wanted to use violence or or he wanted to be like more peaceful yeah. uh, to go ahead and avenge his friends and his loved ones and like try to take back his neighborhood in a way. Mm -hmm. So I didn't care too much for season two of Luke Cage. Iron Fist, I tried, y'all. I, I, I really tried and I just could not finish it and uh yeah this is the direction i think kevin feige goes in he uses charlie cox and we clearly know he's going to use him hopefully as the lawyer for peter parker that would be so dope and i think we do get him in a small cameo he won't play a major role right but they will bring back jessica jones as well everyone else i think they recast for a future avengers movie i really do i agree i think I, well i would love to see john berthal as Punisher again, because I thought he was fantastic. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Charlie Cox, man, as Daredevil, uh, one of my favorite shows on Netflix. So kicking it, I think we talked about it the other night, Chris. You say you haven't seen a lot of the Marvel Netflix shows, but you heard that you know they're great and awesome and all that stuff. So I guess to pose the question to you, would you want to see a recast of these characters just to kind of get a fresh face in the mix? And then if we are indeed seeing a Netflix character from a TV show make its way into Spider-Man 3 is that something that gets you intrigued because again there's a million people casted in the Spider-Man 3 film. Yeah, for sure. No, I don't watch the Netflix shows. I watched I think I watched season 1 of Luke Cage. That was it though, similar to James. I don't know that I need them in in more content, but mm -hmm. like I said to you e the other day like my 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 boy swears on Daredevil, so I trust his opinion. So when I read the news about Cox, I was like, okay, well there that's going to be good then. And he, my boy is also a Spider-Man stand, so that's going to be just huge. So I support that movement, but I really I have to yield my time on Netflix shows for Marvel because I'm not I'm not there. <laughs> it's it's a lot. I mean, but if you do get the opportunity, if a window of opportunity arises uh, to watch a show, Daredevil seasons one and three, especially three for me, Inclusion the Punisher. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! And and uh, Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin, bring him back in the mix too because he is fantastic as that character. But Amanda, again, uh, have you seen the Netflix shows? And if so, would you want to see some of those Jessica Jones make a way into She Hulk or whatnot? And of course, what's your thoughts on Charlie Cox being Daredevil in Spider Man Three? Yeah, so I watched first two seasons of Daredevil, mm -hmm. and then I love them. And I think that we need to get the Punisher in there somewhere. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. I love John so much. That freaking jail scene, the hallway, just, oh, freaking <laughs> mind blowing. Great time. Um, it was fantastic. So I think he needs to be integrated. Kingpin, 100%. D'Onofrio owned that character. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, he has to be in it. Yeah. Um, I love the Charlie Cox news. I think it's about time that we actually have a good Daredevil in the mix. You know, we kind of block out Ben Affleck. Well, he, has, he doesn't have a good track record with uh, good luck in these superhero uh, roles, even though I love him as Batman. But uh, I was gonna say, that's the biggest one. He's fine. That's a good, good Batman. Yeah. yeah, no, he's a great Batman. I, you know how much I love him. So I love yeah. Batfleck. Um, uh, but yeah, Charlie Cox, I love this idea. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, I think if Kristen Ritter does come back as Jessica Jones in uh, She Hulk, that's also a really good mix. I think that's perfect for her. Iron Fist can just. He can chill. Way he can chill. Okay, yeah. I got to like episode five, and I'm like, it just became background noise, so I just didn't, I didn't pay attention. You can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but um, Luke Cage, I I loved the first season. I loved yeah. it. Um, yeah. I had the same issue with season two, but um, I honestly think that Mike Coulter's great, and I think yeah. that he should. It, I don't think they should recast him. 
if they're going to integrate him, then use him. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you can't just half, you can't do it half assed. Sorry. You can't do it that way. So um, yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I love them all except for Iron Fist and we can just keep them going and it'll be good. I totally agree. And, 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 my, and even if they do like, cause even if they recast Luke Cage, I would love to see Mike in, in the MCU in some capacity, just like we know Maharsha Ali speaking of uh, Kingpin yeah. or I should say um, uh, Luke Cage, he was the villain. Yeah. For, and, and that's to me when the season went kind of on downhill when he left the show for particular reasons. That's when I'm like, ah, I don't know. Uh, but I would love to see Mike come back in some capacity uh, in the MCU. Uh, but as far as me goes, I, I love the daredevil characters. Uh, Daredevil character, I love the the, the the shows that we got. Again, John Berthal can do no wrong in my eyes, so bring him back as Punisher. But uh, in regards to him being in Spider-Man 3, this is crazy, man. Like, literally how many characters John Watts is going to have? He, he's already filming the film. I would imagine that he is just like, there's so many personalities on set. There's obviously the COVID thing that's going on and shooting that. I, I can't imagine being in his directing chair right now, but kudos to him because he's going to be the director of Fantastic Four and who knows if he's like the go-to guy for Marvel now to replace the Russos. But Spider-Man 3 is going to be insane. Uh, if rumors are to be true about all the cameos and we already know we got Electro and we got, you know, Alpha Molina coming back as Doc Op and the Vulture still out there and the Scorpions out there. And I mean, this movie is literally the next Avengers movie. This to me, Spider-Man 3 looks just like Civil War regarding it's still going to be. I hope it's still going to be Tom Holland's story, but we're getting so many people in the mix. It has to be three hours, right? It has to be like a three hour film to get all these uh, characters in the mix. It's going to be insane. Uh, yeah. Are you guys, I guess, just kind of on a, a side note, are you guys excited for Spider Man 3 that hopefully still sticks his landing come this December? Yeah, 100%. 100 yeah. percent. you know you know it's funny i don't know if you guys follow sports too much but i'm a huge miami heat fan and john watts if he successfully pulls off spider-man 3 he will be yeah. the eric spolstra of oh. movie making because yeah. he eric spolstra handled the big three right with lebron yeah. d wade and chris bosh i mean can you imagine having literally an entire cast list alfred molina charlie cox tom holland i mean if we get toby mcguire and andrew garfield i'm sorry guys those egos are going to be big <laughs> <laughs> I think literally if they were to bring Toby back, I just want to hear his voice off screen first because his voice just sticks mm -hmm. in my head for some reason out of all of them, mm -hmm. you know, all these characters. So to say him, he can say pizza's here. I don't even care. And then you just like, <laughs> find him. You're like, oh my God, he's here. It'd be so cool. But like, yeah, I think bringing Toby back, I, I want them to keep it a secret. Yeah. I don't want to know about it. Because mm -hmm. I, don't in the trailer. I don't want to see him in the marketing. I'm right there with you. Nada, but yeah, I'm excited. I love this comment here, bringing uh, Edward White, Edward White back into the mix. Cause yeah, he was, you know, his, his Ant-Man was a lot different. I would love to see him get a, uh, another shot at an MCU film in the future. Um, but yeah, it looks like a lot of people are excited. Yeah, uh, Cottonmouth was all, yeah. Marshall, again, I can't wait to see this man in mm -hmm. the, uh, as Blade. Uh, yeah, Diamond, I forgot his name. Yeah, Diamond, but yeah, he, he didn't work for me like at all. Uh, uh, but again, he, he has it. Hopefully, you know, we get uh, Mike back in the MCU in some capacity. But 